Und der da? Hello. Hello students. Hello students. Dako, let her holy amita public corridor. You got it? You push you. Hello. Amita let her public coach here. Moving to Meta Kachurbe. A linked up to Mongol, but would what I advanced rats. A kunid, a kunisher for just now. हाँ तुम ही एक खुनी शेयर करो तो एक खुनी जानते हो ता वो इफ़ाइट है चलाने तो चोट करे हम्म अभी ना तो गड़बड़ हो रही है वो ना ना हेलो 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 मोमिता शॉप की काचे तो कथा बात तो गुलो ना मैं शायद सामने हो जावे ना करामी गोड़ों में मुड़े जाएगी कहने मोमिता जीएस को तो हम कथा रहा ठीक आचे तो जाता है मोमिता जीएस को नेट पे चौट पड़े जी गुलो बोल ला मैं तो पाखन पाखर आवाज़ ऐसी ना तो लेट्स स्टार्ट कल स्टार्ट कर दी पब्लिक कोल्ड लाम है। February, this Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, these three consecutive days will revise on the J Main 2022 most important part, most important topics. Okay, and today's target will be the calculus, and tomorrow we'll do on the algebra. Okay, everybody, so let us start. Let us start with the one by one sum and you give me the answer. I'm going to wait until you do it. I'm going Everybody, you can write in chat section and we'll cover the calculus portion today. Okay? Let us proceed. Let us read ready. Let us continue with this. And today's target is a full calculus. Okay. One minute. Let me say it once. Mm -hmm. 
find the range of fx equal to 10. So, if you are in this case, whatever may be the just see one thing in this particular case, whatever may be the x, it does not matter, but x into box of something pi is there, then pi into box of something that equal to 0. So, everybody, so the range of the function is range is 0. Okay. So, I am going to the next sum. Find the domain of cos inverse box of 2x square minus 3. I am just waiting for 10 second and if anyone can give me the answer, you can answer me. If there is anyone who can give me the answer, you can answer. Otherwise, I will just solve the sum. So, since it is a cos inverse, key, anyone will give me the answer? Since it is a cos inverse, therefore, within the inverse, it should be lying between minus 1 and plus 1. So, we can write this as box of box of it's okay box of 2x square minus 3 lies between minus 1 and plus 1 therefore we can say 2x square minus 3 lying between greater than equal to minus 1 box of x greater than equal to i so x greater than equal to i this is the properties of the box function okay and remember one thing box is one of the most important part uh, for the a JE examination. Okay, if we see the 2020-2021 papers, it was totally different from 2019 papers. Therefore, everybody be cautious. Okay. So less than two. From this we can say key okay, what should be the answer? From this we can say x square greater than or equal to 1 directly I am doing this just I am taking 3 to that that side both side and divided by 2. So, if I do like this the x square greater than or equal to this less than 5 by 2. So, under this there are two consideration if we consider two things just see one thing therefore, we can say x square greater than or equal to 1 therefore, x belongs to minus 1 x belongs to minus infinity to minus 1 union 1 to infinity and x square less than 5 by 2 x belongs to minus root of r of 5 by 2 to root of r of 5 by 2. Therefore, if we just consider the cases, so what should be the answer? x belongs to in this case the answer would be option c. If we see the if we take the uh, uh, common intersection uh, place, so we will see in this way x belongs to minus root of r of 5 by 2 to minus 1 union 1 to root of r of 5 by 2. Therefore, answer is in this case, uh, in this case answer is the option C. Okay, next. Next, I mean, I am coming to the next sum. Find the range of this. Just I am waiting for the uh, 10 to 15 seconds, then I will start solving this sum and anyone can give me the answer, you can write in the uh, chat box. what should be since we can say x square plus e by x square plus 1 can be written as x square plus 1 by x square plus 1 plus e minus 1 by x square plus 1 ok that is equal to 1 plus e minus 1 by x square plus 1 must be greater than equal to 1 must be this thing greater than equal to 1 ok. Therefore, we can say and obviously also 
also we can write e minus 1 by x square plus 1 less than equal to e minus 1. Therefore, we can say everybody, if we take the log on the both side, x square plus e by x square plus 1 belongs to 0 to 1. Because 1, 1 means log, log 1 minus 0, okay? So what is the final answer, everybody? Therefore, uh, range, if we apply the sine inverse, sine inverse when I apply theta belongs to 0 to pi by 2. Therefore, the final answer is here we are getting this is 0 to pi by 2. Okay. Let us proceed. Let us proceed for the second. We are solving the JMN 2022, just some days left. So uh, today is the calculus and tomorrow will be the most important session. It will be the algebra. Okay. Yes, good evening, Pratay. Next. Fx equal to root 3 side x minus cos x plus 2. Then find f inverse x. Try. And those who are doing the class in the Zoom, uh, do not tell anything, okay? Fx equal to root 3 sin x minus cos x plus 2. We can write this as 2 sin of x minus pi by 6 plus 2. So, if you are a 2 sin theta plus 2, obviously it is the 1, 1 and onto function, okay? It means it is a bijective function and we, as we know that the bijective function only having its inverse, okay? Therefore, we can write this as f of fx, f inverse x, instead of x put called f inverse x, we know that f of f inverse x equal to x. Therefore, we can write 2 sine of f inverse x minus pi by 6 plus 2 equal to x. Therefore, sine of f inverse x minus pi by 6 equal to x by 2 minus 1, which implies that f inverse x equal to sine inverse, we can write pi by x by 2 minus 1 plus pi by 6. But but x by 2 minus 1 always less than equal to 1 for every x belongs to 0 to 4. Okay? In this way, we can find an inverse, inverse function, injective, bijective, surjective. These are very important for J examination, J main examination, J advanced examination. This type of session regularly I'll be taking. Okay? So let us proceed. Next time changing. Find the domain of the function. Just I am waiting for the uh, 15 second, then I will solve it. We are covering all different parts of the calculus for this J main examination. Madam, Everyone, this is a signum function. As we know that within log should be greater than zero, therefore we can say nine minus x square must be must be greater than greater than zero, which implies that x belongs to minus three to plus three. This is number one. Okay. Now again, box x cube minus four into box x 
should be greater than or equal to zero using the wavy cup theory. So using the wavy cup theory, we can say box six. Huh. Thank you. We can say box six greater than or equal to two or box x belongs to minus 2 to 0. Okay, box x belongs to minus 2, whatever may be x. Box x belongs to minus 2 to 0 many, means how many integer numbers are there between minus 2 to 0. That is minus 2, minus 1 and 0. So, we can write this as x greater than equal to 2 or x belongs to minus 2 to 1. So, combining we are getting x belongs to minus 2 to 1 union 2 to infinity done. Today's target is that we will cover that J main important type sums, okay. And uh, we'll, we are covering in such a way that the, all the part of the, except the application of derivative, that this application of derivative, I'll just teach separately. Next, I'm changing. Do this. I'm waiting for 10 minutes, 10 seconds. Next, what is answer? X, there are two cases. If we take two things, two cases for X greater than minus one, less than zero. Uh, okay, so box X equal to minus one, therefore x plus box x belongs to minus 2 to minus 1, which is not possible, which is not possible. Because within cos inverse, the values are there. Within cos inverse, like between minus 1 to plus 1. So this is not possible, okay? This is not possible. And second case, for every x greater than or equal to 0 less than 1, we can get box x equal to 0, okay? Under that case, x plus box x greater than or equal to 0 less than 1. So answer is B. Next continuation. We have to find the domain of this function. What to be done? First of all, first of all, if we see sine inverse portion, within inverse should be within sine inverse should be lying between minus one and plus one. But we it is under root of r. Therefore, we can say log x greater than or equal to 0, less than or equal to 1. So x belongs to 2 to the power 0, 1 to 2. And in the second case, if we apply the just uh, inequality condition, we are saying that 2x minus 1 by x into x plus 1 into 2x plus 1 should be greater than 0, okay? Greater than equal to 0. And if we apply this, we are getting half, zero, minus half, minus one. Therefore, just greater than or equal to zero. So if we see the condition, we are seeing that x equal to one to two, x equal to one to two, because here x belongs to minus one to minus half union half to infinity. So if we just take the common condition of the 
number 1 and number 2 we are seeing final answer is x belongs to 1 to 2 ok. So, c is the right option. Means if there are such number of times, number of types are given. So, we will take the uh, first portion, second portion, third portion, uh, we will take separately domain and we will get the intersection of all the x intercept. Okay. I am going to the next. Find the domain of this. And everybody, this domain range is extremely important, mainly domain for the J main examination is extremely important. So, we have to do all these things. Okay. We need to clear, we need to get the good marks in mathematics. So, we have to do this. First of all, if I take sin x plus cos x, so it is root over sin x plus pi by 4, okay. First portion root over sin x plus pi by 4. So, in this case function to be defined that is sin x plus pi by 4 should be greater than equal to 0. So, x plus pi by 4 point to be noted remember this thing x plus pi by 4 obviously this is not 0 to 2 pi. So, we have to take the general equation. So, 2 n pi less than equal to 2 n pi plus pi. So, we can get x greater than equal to 2 n pi minus pi by 4 to less than equal to 2 n pi plus 3 pi by 4 number 1. And second case, if we take the another part, just see one thing here, if we take the second portion, for second portion 7x minus x square minus 6, this is greater than equal to 0, therefore x square minus 7x plus 6 less than equal to 0, therefore x belongs to 1 to 6 by wavy curve theory method. So, equating 1 and 2. If we just compare 1 and 2 and if we just get the common intersection of 1 and 2, we are getting x belongs to 1, 2, 3 by 4, just common intersection union 7 pi by 4 to 6. In this way, we have to answer very fast because time is very less for this type of examinations. Okay? So, I am going to the next type. Next, next time is this, try to solve it. What to do? I am waiting for 10 seconds. In this case, first of all to mod of sin x minus 1 not equal to 0, this is number 1, which implies that sin x not equal to 1. First condition sin x not equal to 1, okay. So, we can say mod of sin x minus 1 must be less than equal to 1. Therefore, sin x minus 1 lies between minus 1 and plus 1. So, we can say sin x belongs to 0 to 2. Okay. So, this is coming, I am just taking this number 1, this is as the number 2. From number 1 and number 2, we can say sin x belongs to 0 to 1. Because sin x not equal to 1, sin x belongs to 0 to 1. So, the general solution is x equal to n pi plus minus 1 to the power n alpha where alpha belongs to 0 to pi by 2. So, what is the final option? Option is A. Next, next let us proceed.
neste salmo. And in class we have done number of times this particular type of psalms and because this particular type of psalms are type is very important, this type of pattern is very important for entrance examination. So number of times we have done this type of psalms. So what should be the answer? Anyone can tell? Anyone can write? Those who are doing the class in Zoom, so do not tell anything. So, first of all, log x. First of all, the x greater than 0. Now, there is a log x, log x. x should be obviously greater than 0. So, in this way, log x, log x should be greater than 0. x greater than 10 to the power 0, 1. Base is 10. Now, log of log x. And this particular sum is very important. And number of times, we have done this sum. So, log of log x should be in this way. In this way, we will proceed one by one, one by one, just one log. If we cannot guess, in the examination hall, it is not so easier to guess this. So, uh, just do one thing. Let us proceed like this. Uh, first log, one time we will take log, second time we will take log, third time we will take log. In this way, in this way, continuously, we will proceed like this. Okay. So, first log, second log, third log, fourth log, then automatically it will be coming to the generalization. Whenever in the entrance examination that n times are given, so it is not so easy to calculate. Just if we take three times, if we take four times, if we take five times, in this way, we will get it. Okay. Already so we have done this. What should be the answer? Answer is none of this. Answer should be 10 to the power, 10 to the power, 10 to the power. That is n minus 2. Number of times we have done this thing number of times we have solved this sum, so I am not solving it, okay? Next, find the domain. Within sine inverse, lie whatever they are lying between minus 1 and plus 1. Therefore, log of x by 3 lying between minus 1 and plus 1. So, x by 3 lying between 3 to the power minus 1 to 3 to the power 1, okay? So, x belongs to 1 to 9. So, first option is the answer. Next, let us go to the next. Find the domain. Find the domain of this. First of all, in the first case, we can write that 4 minus x square not equal to 0. Therefore, x not equal to plus or minus 2. Okay. In the second case, if we just see x cube minus x should be greater than 0, okay? That x into x minus 1 plus 1 should be greater than 0. If we apply the wavy curve theory, we are getting here that this is 1, this is 0, this is minus 1. Therefore, x belongs to, in this case, minus, since it is greater than 0, this is minus 1 to 0 union 1 to infinity. So, there are two ways, two things. This is number 1. Number 1 power portion and this is number 2 portion. Okay. Now, final answer should be what? D is the final option. Because in the previous case, one thing you have to remember, in the previous all sums, it was, this is a very confusing, this portion. In the previous portion, it was within one part. In this case, this is the plus portion, and portion, okay? So let us take the, uh, what is the common intersection case. Next. In some cases, whenever there are very interesting sums are coming, uh, so it is easier for us to answer. So, what will be the answer for this? f of minus x equal to minus fx and fx is. 
ठीक ऑट फंक्शन साइन एक्स इज द ऑट फंक्शन ओके लॉग ऑफ एक्स प्लस रूट ऑफ आर एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस वन दैट इज द ऑट फंक्शन सो इन केस ऑफ वॉट फंक्शन एफ ऑफ माइनस एक्स इक्वल टू माइनस एफ एक्स इन इन केस ऑफ इवेंट फंक्शन एफ ऑफ माइनस एक्स इक्वल टू एफ एक्स इज देर एनी फंक्शन हुई इज इवेंट एज वेल एज ऑट सो कि इज देर एनी फंक्शन हुई इज इवेंट एज वेल एज ऑट सो ऑबियसली दैट इज जीरो इज दैट फंक्शन सो दिस इज इवेंट एज वेल एज ऑट ओके सो इवेंट नॉट बेस्ड लॉट ऑफ क्वेश्चन आर कमिंग इन एक्स एम एंड वन मोर थिंग वन मोर थिंग टू टेल दैट फॉर इवेंट फंक्शन इवेंट फंक्शन इज सीमेट्रिकल अबाउट द वाई एक्सिस एंड ऑट फंक्शन इज सीमेट्रिकल अबाउट द ओरिजिन ऑल दिस प्रॉपर्टीज वी हैव टू कीप इन माइंड ओके टू क्रैक द जेई एग्जामिनेशन एंड वी हैव टू क्रैक जेई एग्जामिनेशन सो नेट नेक्स्ट सम वाट शुड बी द आंसर we can apply lopital theory easily we can apply lopital theory we can apply normal formula so we can apply in this way that is lopital theory the everybody knows just i am applying the normal formula e to the power x square minus 1 minus of cos x minus 1 denominator sin square x sin square x just i am dividing by x square balance by x square so sin square x by x square is 1 so e to the power x square minus 1 by x square minus that is plus if i write 1 minus cos x by x square 1 minus cos x by x square to half and this is coming 1 1 plus half equal to 3 by 2 it means whenever formula we can apply it. whenever we can apply the formula then why unnecessary uh, we we'll use the lopital rule differentiation method question will be not coming so easy that you can use the differentiation method ओके नेक्स्ट सम फाइन दिस व्हाट शुड बी द आंसर व्हाट शुड बी द आंसर हियर साइन वन एटी माइनस थीटा सो इफ आई टेक साइन कॉमन पाई कॉमन इफ यू टेक वन माइनस साइन स्क्वायर कॉ स्क्वायर थीटा दैट इज साइन स्क्वायर थीटा बाई एक्स स्क्वायर दैट इज साइन ऑफ पाई साइन स्क्वायर एक्स सो लिमिट एक्सटेन टू जीरो आई एम नॉट राइटिंग बिकॉज वी आर इन वी हैव टू आंसर द सम फर्स्ट सो आई एम नॉट राइटिंग हियर ओके एंड दिस इज एक्स स्क्वायर आंसर शुड बी पाई सो पाई इज द आंसर next let us proceed the next sum solve it this is one previous j main question paper so solve it very fast who can tell me who can tell here we are do it very fast लिमिट एक्स टेन टू आलफा वन माइनस कस थीटा ओके वन माइनस कस टू थीटा इज टू सैन स्कोर थीटा दैट इज टू सैन स्कोर ए एक्स स्कोर प्लस बी एक्स प्लस सी बै टू बफ आई रईट दिस एक्स माइनस आलफा होल स्कोर दिस ए प्रिभिया जेई एक्सामेशन क्वेश्चन सो we can write this here that is limit x tend to alpha what should be the answer here okay kunal b yes so in this case it will be 2 sin square a into x minus alpha x minus beta by 2 because there should be some a here a should be present in quadratic equation quadratic expression while factorization we can take a common ax square plus bx plus c we take a common therefore in this case a square so x minus alpha whole square 
x minus beta whole square by 4. Similarly, balanced by the same thing, a square into x minus beta whole square <coughs> sin x by x to 1. This is coming a square by 2 alpha minus beta whole square. Therefore, b is the answer. You should answer all these things. This is easy. Next time changing. Next. This also previous to Jamin question paper. <coughs> what should be the answer here? What is the answer here? anyone can tell what is the answer here? Limit x train to infinity. I am not repeating the sum. Just let us divide by x square here. So if we divide by x square, 1 plus 5 by x plus 3 by x square. Total divided by 1 plus 1 by x plus 3 by x square whole to the power 1 by x. That is 1 to the power 0 equal to 1. J main question paper it is. It is the previous J main question paper. Next. What should be the answer? What should be the answer here? One minus cos two x by whatever it is coming root over of one minus cos two theta is two sine square theta that is root two sine x mod root two sine x okay root two x so in this case whatever I am seeing it just root is just extended actually it is root two into x it will be root two into x so root two so mod of sin x. So left hand limit and right hand limit will be same. In this case, it does not exist. So this is the option because for the left hand limit, this is coming minus and for the right hand limit because for mod sin x case and for right hand limit, this is coming plus. So since left hand limit is not equal to the right hand limit, so limit does not exist. Okay, ready? Next. Next. Integer type sum, it's a previous J main question paper, integer type sum. What is the answer? What should be the answer? <coughs> Log of x plus y equal to 4xy put x equal to 0, we are getting log y with the base e, I am not continuously writing base e, log y equal to 0, therefore y equal to 1. Therefore, if we differentiate, we are getting 1 by x plus y into 1 plus dy dx equal to 4 into, y, 4 into y plus x dy dx, okay. So, at x equal to 0, y equal to 1, we have, we have here 1 plus dy dx equal to 4 into 1 plus 0 into dy dx, okay, which implies that dy dx equal to 3. Therefore, we can say here, I can write this as number 1, we can say here 1 plus from number 1, from 1, 1 plus dy dx equal to 4 into x plus y into y plus x dy dx. So if we do the double derivative, d2y dx square, simple UV formula, apply d2y dx square equal to 4 into 1 plus dy dx into y plus 
I'll be changing the place. So d2y dx square equal to 4 into 1 plus uv formula into y plus x dy dx plus 4 into x plus y into dy dx plus dy dx plus x d2y d2y dx square okay now just i am changing this some part of the r Two thousand twenty-one. Jamie in question it is. Okay. So uh, this type of question came in the last year, and you can expect everybody this type. So putting x equal to zero, y equal to one, uh, dy dx equal to three. Therefore, we are getting d two y dx square equal to four into one plus three into one plus zero dy dx okay plus plus 4 into 0 plus 1 2 into 3 plus 0 into d2y dx square that is 4 into 4 plus 4 into 6 equal to 16 plus 24 equal to 40 so this is the integer type question answer is 40 Right. This okay? So this type of lengthy questions are also coming. It came in 2021 in some shift with the JMN question paper. And this type of lengthy questions are also coming in entrance examination like JE, okay? And we have to solve the sum very fast. Next. What is the answer for this? cos c minus cos d 2 sin c plus d by 2 into sin d minus c by 2. So, let us apply here, let us apply here, we are getting limit x tend to 0 f x equal to limit x tend to 0. So, I am not writing, uh, repeating. So, cos c minus cos d formula 2 sin, 2 sin c plus d by 2 into sin d minus c by 2 total divided by x to the power 4 okay that is coming limit x tend to 0 2 sin x plus sin x by 2 into sin x minus sin x by 2 by x plus sin x by 2 into x minus sin x by 2 so balance by x square minus sin square x by 4 x to the power 4 because i taken 2 into 2 accordingly balanced therefore we can say half into 1 into 1 because sin x by x formula now just here x plus if we just just break it here x plus sin x by x into x minus sin x by x cube. So, in this case, in these two cases, just we can apply here j half if we put the value 1 plus 1 x minus sin x by x cube. In this case, there are a number of ways. Number 1, we can apply the series of the sin x. So, if we apply the series of the sin x, x minus x minus x cube by factorial 3 plus x to the power 5 by dot 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 total divided by x cube. So, answer should be here half into 2 into this is 1 sixth. So, answer should be. So, continuity 
for continuity at x equal to 0 according to the question uh, f 0 equal to 1 by 6. So, we can say here, so we can say here 1 by k equal to 1 by 6, so k equal to 6, so 6 is the answer. This is also the question of 2021 J main examination integer uh, numerical type. Okay, so let us proceed with the next. Next sum. This is also 2021 J main question f r 2 r satisfying f of x plus y equal to f x into f y f x not equal to 0 if the function f x is differentiable and f dash this is f dashed f dashed 0 equal to 3 then find this value just I am waiting for the 10 second you enter that Good. I am waiting for 10 second This type of continuity differentiability sum for the entrance examination is very important. So, let us proceed. f of x plus y equal to f x into f y put x equal to y equal to 0. So, f of f of 0 plus 0 equal to f 0 into f 0. So, f 0 equal to 1 because in this case given f x not equal to 0 man f 0 not equal to 0. So, f 0 equal to 1 therefore, we can say therefore, we can say f dashed 0 equal to limit h 10 to 0 f of 0 plus h minus f 0 by h that is we can say here I am writing here limit h 10 to 0 f h minus 1 ok f h minus 1 by because this is equal to 3 since f dashed 0 equal to 3. And f 0 equal to 1 the answer is here 3. Let us do it the one more sum. The number of points at which the function is not differentiable. Generally, differentiability, a function is not differentiable. There are two cases. One is that the function is discontinuous and second case is that there is a sharp edge, there is a sharp change of the function. Okay, so let us see where there is a sharp edge of the function. Okay, so f x equal to 2 x plus 1 minus 3 into x plus 2 into x minus 1. There is a matter here. If I take mod of 2 x mod of x plus 2 into if we just take the common we are seeing that critical points are 3, ok. Critical points are x equal to minus half, minus 2 and 1. But x equal to minus 2 is making this, making a 0 twice in the product. x equal to minus 2 is making the 0 twice in the product, ok. This portion, therefore, it is not, it is differentiable at x equal to minus 2. Therefore, problem is number of non-differentiability is minus half and 1. So, answer should be 2. Remember this. Answer should be 2. Must check with the graphical method. Next.
find the divide x at x equal to 0. This is given that k equal to 1 to 6 k cos inverse this. This is a simple bracket. If nothing is mentioned, then this bracket is a this curly bracket is a simple bracket. If it is mentioned, then it is a it is considered to be the of different values like fractional x, some values. Okay. So do this. What should be the answer for this? This also previous J Win question paper. 2021. So, k equal to 1 to 6. Suppose k into cos inverse. Suppose 3 by 5 is some cos alpha. Suppose 3 by 5 is some cos alpha. Okay. 3, 5, 4. And 4 by 5 is some sin alpha. Therefore, we can say this is cos inverse cos alpha cos kx minus sin alpha sin kx. Therefore, we can write this as 1 to 6 k cos inverse cos kx plus alpha. So, this can be written as k equal to 1 to 6 k into kx plus alpha that is equal to summation of k equal to 1 to 6 k square x plus k alpha. So if we therefore divide dx if we differentiate we are getting summation of k equal to 1 to 6 k square because k alpha the constant number constant derivative 0. So we can write this as 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square plus 4 square plus 5 square plus 6 square. What is the value? n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 by 6. Therefore, it should be coming uh, 7, 6, 6 cancel, 7 into 13. Answer is 91. Therefore, in this case, answer of this integer type is coming to be 91. Okay, next I am going. This sum. This sum. Sometimes we have to do the partial differentiability. Okay. Just see here, this also the JVN previous 2021 question plus FY equal plus plus XY square plus X square Y. Therefore, if we differentiate partially keeping Y as the constant, it will be more easier for us. Okay. Therefore, this is coming to be F dash X plus keeping y as the constant plus y square plus 2xy. So, f dashed x plus y equal to f dashed x plus x square. It will be y square plus 2xy. So, put, put y equal to minus x. So, we are getting f dashed 0 equal to f dashed x plus x square minus 2x square. Therefore, which implies that 1 equal to f dashed x minus x square. So, since limit x tend to 0, fx by x equal to 1. So, we can write this as f dashed x equal to 1 plus x square. So, f dashed 3 equal to 1 plus 3 square equal to 10. So, in this case, it is coming to be, this is f dashed, f dashed 3. J main question paper 2021, it is numerical type. I am going to the next.
number of points where f x equal to 1 by ln x square minus 3 x plus 3 is discontinuous. What will be the answer for this? So, once again I am writing f x equal to 1 by ln mod of x square minus 3 x plus 3. So, first of all there are two things, two restriction will apply x square minus 3 x plus 3 should be greater than 0 and number 2 we can write ln x square minus 3 x plus 3 not equal to 0. Therefore, this is greater than 0 always this is always greater than because in a x square plus b x plus c ok if a greater than 0 parabola upward and b square minus 4 is less than 0 here it is a condition. So, it is always above the so it is always greater than 0 always above the base x axis. So, let us apply b this. So, x square minus 3 x plus 3 not equal to 1 therefore, we can write x square minus 3 x plus 2 not equal to 0 or x square minus 3 x plus 4 not equal to 0. In this case, we are getting if we solve that is x minus 1 into x minus 2. Therefore, x equal to x not equal to 1 and 2, 1 and 2 and it is always true. Same as this previous case, a greater than 0 and b square minus 4 is less than 0. Okay, It is always true it cannot be 0 by any means ok. It, it, this is not possible I am writing not possible ok. Therefore, answer is A. In this case answer will be A. Next number of points of discontinuity of f x equal to this where u equal to 1 by x minus 1. How it can be solved? This type of composite function how to solve ok. First of all what is the base here? u equal to 1 by x minus 1. So, 1 by x minus 1 when x equal to 1 is a problem. So, I am solving this. So, problem at x not equal to 1 now is our first target ok. So, f x is not defined again again f x is not defined not defined for u when denominator is 0 u square plus u minus 2 equal to 0 which implies that u equal to 1 and minus 2. But 1 by x minus 1 equal to 1 which implies that x minus 1 equal to 1. So, x equal to 2 and 1 by x minus 1 equal to minus 2. So, if we apply what you, what is coming x x minus 1 equal to minus half. So, x equal to half. So, f x is so f x is discontinuous at x equal to 1, 2 and half. So, answer is coming 3 point. Huh? Next, this type of sums f x equal to mod the function where f x is not different, f x is not differentiable where there is the within the where is a critical point we have to check critical point in general. So, that f x is in that critical point there is a problem always ok. Critical point where within mod make it 0 and which should be within the domain. Therefore, in this case so directly we can say this type of short sums will be there. So, that which will uh, save our timing ok. There are some sums which are long there are some sums which is short. So, we can say here x equal to 0 3 and cos x minus pi to pi. So, so, x cos x equal to 0, cos x equal to 0, x equal to plus minus pi by 2. So, there are such 4 points. This type of short sub we have to use the short trick so that we can do it very fast. Next. 
next. Next sum y equal to max e to the power mod x ln mod x. So, if I draw the diagram, if we draw the diagram, if we draw diagram here, so first of all, the e to the power x curve is this. This is e to the power x curve. Now, e to the power mod x is the target. e to the power mod x means we have to eliminate that portion, that portion where neglect the portion of the car for x less than equal to 0. Now, less less than 0. Now, this is a formula. If x transform to f of mod x, neglect the portion of the car for x less than 0. Now, take the image of the remaining portion with y axis as a mirror. So, if we apply here y axis as the mirror, so this is the car. This is e to the power mod x. But in this case, it is ln mod x, ln mod x already we know. In case of ln mod x, just if we apply, this is the ln mod x. And since max, since max, obviously, since max, we are getting y equal to e to the power x, right hand side e to the power x, because above ln e to the power mod x is always above ln, max money, who is max, y is max, height is max, okay. So therefore, we can write e to the power x when x greater than or equal to 0, e to the power minus x when x less than 0, okay, one minute, less than 0. So, we can write y dash to 0 plus by seeing we can say, okay, about the differentiability because this is a point. This is a turning point. One curve to another curve. Obviously, there is a problem. Then also let us check. If there is a confusion, let us check. If we check it here, so y dash to 0 equal to 1 and y dash to 0 minus 0 plus it is 1, 0 minus it is minus 1. Obviously, non-differentiable at x equal to 0. Obviously, non-differentiable at x equal to 0, okay? It will be the answer. Non-differentiable at x equal to 0. Next. This type of session, regularly I will take before the JE examination. So, our next target should be, tomorrow's target should be uh, algebra and day after tomorrow, whatever I am thinking to take, that mixed preparation for the J examination, most important type for the J examination and we will revise uh, before the J examination, okay. And number of such session, I will take. What should be the answer for this? First of all, in this case, we can write f x equal to x minus 1 x minus 1 into root over of ln x when x greater than equal to 1, okay. And that is x minus 1 into root over of minus ln x when x less than 1. So, f x is clearly continuous. f x is clearly continuous. at x equal to 1 because there is a doubt at x equal to 1 already at x equal to 1 it is given. Now, f dash x let us see the differentiability f dash x equal to uv formula root of r of ln x into 1 minus x minus 1 1 by 2 root of r of ln x into 1 by x when x greater than 1 and this is minus root of r of minus ln x into 1 minus x minus simple uv formula 1 by 2 root of r of minus ln x into minus 1 by x when x less than 1. So, we can see by seeing this we can see by seeing we can say f dashed 1 plus equal to what 0 
equal to f dash to 1 minus. Therefore, obviously it is the differentiable. Obviously, it is fx is a differentiable at x equal to 1. There are some portion. This type of sums are very important for the J, enter, J examination type where this theoretical concept is needed. Generally continuity, differentiability, application of derivative, uh, integral type, definite integral, all these things are very important. Okay? So, uh, for this, what will be the answer? fx and gx are differentiable at x equal to a, h x equal to max fx and gx and at a is differentiable hx about hx it is given. What to be done? What should be this type of theoretical question are regularly coming in uh, if, if it is not j main examination it will be j advanced examination and I will be coming for the j advanced examination regular basis. So, what will be the what will be the answer for this? First of all, differentiable functions are continuous. Okay? So, it is obviously however point of intersection of fx and gx may make corner short term. So, it it is differentiable because f and g are differentiable, therefore it may be differentiable it may not be differentiable. Okay. The thing is that it is obviously continuous. Since the function are differentiable, then this in this type of cases, this type of theoretical part we will discuss in, in time of J advanced examination. So, this function is totally differentiable. Sorry, this function is totally uh, continuous, but it is not differentiable. This type of function is not differentiable, generally not differentiable in case of the uh, point of contact, it means point of intersection where there may be, because one is the gx, its inclination is different, one is the fx, its inclination is different. Okay. So, fx and gx are totally of the uh, different type, their inclination, they are sharp. So, there may be some sharp point. So, it may not be the differentiable at the point of contact. So, B is the option. We have done today uh, differential calculus and next day tomorrow my target is that we will do some long session on algebra and next to next day we will just prepare for the mixed session. So, for today purpose everybody it is okay. And uh, continuously I will just give this type of classes and integral calculus before integral calculus let us uh, revise on uh, algebra ones. Tomorrow our target should be algebra and then next next day day after tomorrow our target should be the mixed preparation of the full J main examination. Okay, after that some section by section something like um, uh, application of derivative probability and all others separately those who have the problem and what type of problems are important for the entrance examination because now it is no one can tell what type of problems are coming because so much shift. So, but everybody let us try to proceed so that we have to get the chance in JE this time and for this time for this June month only. Okay. Okay everyone.